This is Michael Saltzman from Blue Sky Bio. I would like to address an important update that we've made to the Blue Sky Plan software, part of the surgical guide creation process. This is an important video as it affects the process flow when creating a surgical guide. Let me start by pointing out that I'm using Blue Sky Plan version 4.83. This is the live version currently available from the Blue Sky Bio website. In previous versions of Blue Sky Plan, in order to make sure the surgical guide can be inserted into the patient's mouth, we automatically remove undercuts from a top view of the model. While this was done automatically and behind the scenes via the software, the user, when designing the surgical guide, was not able to change the angulation of the path of insertion for which the undercut should be removed. In the recent update, we allow the user, if they would like, to control the angulation of the path of insertion, and we display the model with the undercuts removed on screen for easier visualization and understanding. If the user does not want to customize the path of insertion, by default, we remove undercuts at a 30 degree angle, as we can see on the screen for the maxilla, and now for the mandible. So as we will see in just a second, if the user does not want to modify the path of insertion, then the software will by default remove the undercuts at a 30 degree, at a 30 degree angle and display the model with undercuts removed on the screen. Or if the user would like to customize the path of insertion, the option now exists via the guide panel, as we will see, and the model with undercuts removed will be based on the path of insertion as defined by the user. In either situation, the user will now see the newly generated model with undercuts removed on the screen, and that is the model that should be used to draw the surgical guide curve. Let's take a look at this now in the software. So first, let's take a look at the wizard process. After the user has imported the model, placed the implant, positioned the crown, and now they go ahead and click on next to get to the step to draw the surgical guide curve. The software fabricates the undercut model. This step happens automatically by the software and the user does not need to do anything different. We are now looking at the model with the undercuts removed. We could see this clearly on the model. As mentioned earlier, the undercuts have been removed at a 30 degree angle. We now proceed to draw the surgical guide curve. And then, as usual, click on the next button. We can now verify the surgical guide on the model that has the undercuts removed. And we could see the surgical guide has been designed according to the curve and has the undercuts correctly removed. When we click on the next button, we can now verify the surgical guide based on the original model. Here we could approve the complete surgical guide. And again, we can notice how the undercuts have been removed, creating the space between the model and the surgical guide where the undercut has been removed. The user can now proceed and finish the wizard process flow. Now let's take a look at the process in normal and advanced. The process is very much similar to the wizard when creating a surgical guide for a user that does not want to change the path of insertion. The user, as usual, clicks on draw curve and the software presents a message saying that it is generating a model with a 30 degree angle for path of insertion. This is simply a notification that a model with undercuts removed is being generated. If you don't wanna see this message again, simply click do not show this message again, and then click okay. Once okay is clicked, the software automatically generates the model with undercuts removed. And what's important to keep in mind here is that this is the model on which the curve should be drawn and on which the surgical guide should be generated. Users should not switch to a different model, but rather should use the model that was automatically generated by the software to proceed and draw the surgical guide curve and fabricate the surgical guide.
Here, once again, we could see how the undercuts were removed when generating this model. Clicking Create Surgical Guide will fabricate the surgical guide. The software now displays the surgical guide on the model with the undercuts removed. And we could go to surfaces and switch to our original model to confirm, let's just change the color so it's not the same color, to confirm the surgical guide on the original model. But to summarize, for the user that does not want to change the recommended default setting of a 30 degree insertion path, the process flow is simple and straightforward as it always has been. Simply click on draw curve. The software will generate the model with the undercuts removed. You might have that message coming up if it's your first time. If you haven't ch chosen, do not show again, but no worries. The model shows up on the screen automatically. You simply draw the curve and generate the surgical guide. Now for the user who would like to define a custom path of insertion. So we're looking at the original model on the screen and this user simply clicks define insertion direction. The user can use the arrow on the screen to define insertion direction. And we see that the software indicates the areas that, we, that will be blocked out to have the undercuts removed or the user can simply rotate the model and click define insertion direction from view. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, the angle that we're looking at perpendicular to the model that we're looking at right now is how surgical guides were created with undercuts removed in previous versions of Blue Sky Plan. So if you would create the undercut model and generate the surgical guide from this perspective, you will have a surgical guide exactly the way it was created in previous Blue Sky Plan versions. What's very important to keep in mind here is after you are satisfied with your insertion direction, you must click Create Undercut Model. This generates the model on which the surgical guide curve should be drawn and the surgical guide will be fabricated. This makes sure that the surgical guide will be inserted with the undercuts removed as the user has specified. The next steps would simply be to draw the curve and create the surgical guide. For clarification purposes, if a user clicks define insertion direction and then it does not click create undercut model, rather proceeds to draw curve, we will get the message that we had previously indicating that the software will automatically generate an undercut model with a 30 degree path of insertion. Clicking on OK, the software will automatically generate that model. And then the user can go ahead and draw the curve and create the surgical guide. We have also added the slider for maximum allowed undercuts. In the vast majority of situations, this value should be kept as zero, which means that no undercuts should be allowed and all undercuts should be removed. Raising the slider changes the value of the allowed undercuts. If we change it to one millimeter, that means that the software will allow one millimeter of undercuts to exist. As mentioned, in the vast majority of situations, the value should be kept as zero, and you should proceed to defining the insertion path and drawing the curve with the value at zero. The two main takeaways from this video are number one, if you do not define a custom path of insertion, rather use the recommended default by the software, you will see that the software automatically generates the model with the undercuts removed, and that is the model that should be used to draw the curve and create the surgical guide. Number two, if you define a custom path of insertion, make sure to click the Create Undercut Model button before proceeding to draw the curve and creating the surgical guide.